Hi, in this video I'd like to show you the brand new timing analysis tool IceTime in Project IceStorm. You can of course use this tool together with the IceStorm Flow, Yosus and Arachne PNR. Um, but I am going to show you the IceTime tool on a design that is synthesized with the Lattice IceCube design environment uh, to convince you that the results of our timing analysis is comparable to the results of the timing analysis done by the Lattice tools themselves. Um, I have prepared a little project here. Uh, Navre, it's an um, AVR processor clone, and I'm sure I pronounce it incorrectly. Um, and I'm now going to create a new project in the Lattice Tools. Um, let me quickly do that. Um, we are going to synthesize this for an HX8K uh, chip and use all the standard settings for the timing analysis because these are the same settings that are assumed in um, the ice time tool. So we add the design file of course um, and you can see it's a rather large and, and not necessarily trivial uh, Verilog design and I'm now going to synthesize it with the Lattice tools. Um, oops, I have to use the Lattice LSE because uh, the Simplifier Pro doesn't doesn't run for some reason. I'm not able to activate the license on the newer versions of IceCube. So I've tried this before, and it will uh, take about four minutes to synthesize this design. Um, so I will either speed this up in editing or simply skip to the end of synthesis. Okay, um, so synthesis has completed and we have uh, a bitstream and everything and we also have a timing report uh, generated from the lattice tools. Um, and just quickly search for the critical path here. Um, so it says the critical path can be clocked with uh, 39.69 megahertz. So let's compare this to um, the iStorm uh, timing analysis sites. So first I need to create an iStorm ASCII representation of the design. Um, so let me simply do that now. Now we have one of those iStorm ASCII files that uh, contain the entire configuration for the chip. And now with um, IceTime, I can simply create a timing report for that. And we see uh, iStorm timing report says it can be clocked with 39.15 megahertz and the lattice tools uh, give it like half a megahertz uh, more so this is very comparable but let's also compare the longest path so uh, the longest path reported by the lattice tools uh, starts at logic cell 12157 on the um, logic cell output part of this logic cell um, and let's compare this here. We also have logic cell 12157 on the logic cell output. And the end of that path is at logic cell 1720 on input 0. And if we compare this to the lattice tools, here we also have uh, 
logic cell 1720 on input 0. So you can see um, we have uh, reverse engineered the timing models necessary to perform timing analysis for the um, ICE 40 um, FPJs and also have a tool that can be used to perform timing analysis uh, with that kind of chips. Um, as I've said before, this all works with the open source flow as well, naturally, but I have uh, showed you here that I can also run it on uh, designs generated by the latest tools, um, so we can compare the results and I convince you, hopefully, um, that this tool actually does what it is supposed to do. Bye!